what we've got here is uh, the Easy Start Sharp shear sharpener. Um, our industrial shears and scissors and that sort of thing require a fair amount of uh, maintenance at different times. And I know that most of you guys at the moment are uh, employing people to, to sharpen your shears and uh, in a lot of cases the type of sharpening that they're doing is on using small grinders uh, and that sort of thing which is in, in effect taking down a lot of your case hardened edge on your shears which makes it, means that your shears don't last as long and, uh, and that can be a, a problem. So taking too much metal off the case hardened area on the uh, uh, these shears is always, always a, a drama. So using a stone is probably the better option than anything else. With these, looking after your shears, obviously uh, there are ways of sh sharpening your shears just using a grinding stone by taking the shears apart and um, cleaning them out and re-oiling them and all that sort of thing, putting them back together after you use them on a stone just to sort of get an edge back again. What tends to happen with that though is you, you tend to take the, the main cutting edge off and you lose the set. The 45 degree angle set on the scissors is very, very important to maintain that set. This jig here, allows you to do that. So all the way through, you can keep the set and the, the correct set. As soon as your set starts to become a lot less than 45 degrees and flattens out because you're always taking metal more so off the actual cutting edge, what tends to happen is that you don't have the same amount of grip and cut uh, on the shears. So it's important to make sure that that set at 45 degrees is kept at that, that, uh, that uh, angle. So basically, what we have here is a brand new pair of uh, shears and they're, they're, they're worth anything up to $140 to $170 a pair. Now, um, a new pair with the good set, we'd like to retain that set. Here's a pair here that we bought in 1985, um, some 30 odd years ago. And uh, so what we've got is a, uh, a pair of shears that have been sharpened at different times but have more than likely lost the set. The beauty with this particular machine, this jig, is that you don't have to separate the blades. And one of the biggest problems with separating these blades is that uh, individuals lose the, uh, the spring washer that keeps the tension and all that there. They, that, that goes west and next thing you know the, the blades don't stay or the, the, the blades won't stay at the right um, tension so that when they open and cut it's not a problem. The biggest problem with uh, a lot of people with uh, shears is that when you open a pair, pair of blades and you cut a gun and cut down, it's metal on metal. So going like that wears out the cutting edge. Whenever you open a pair of shears, it's your always cut material and leave them close. So opening and cutting wears them out. What I tend to do using the, uh, the shear sharper. I use a bit of permanent ink, run it along the, the set. That ink on there then gives me the opportunity to be able to identify the appropriate set for these shears. What we have is the coarse side of the stone and the smooth side, which is less coarse. With a brand new pair of shears, you would certainly use the smooth side of the stone so that you don't take too much metal off. You always pull through and out. You never try and sharpen back because it's always got to be from the outside to the inside. few wipes there and I can see that I'm taking the back edge and it's not really cutting to the correct set so what I'm going to do is just adjust that back up one and don't forget I've got the ink the permanent marker ink on the, the blade there I've just done one wipe and that's now taking metal on the set all the way through so that's taken just about taken all that uh, that ink off so now I know that it's pretty well right. So using, again, the flat, smooth side of the stone, running that down all the way through, making sure I'm going all the way to the tip, 
Now I only need to do that until I end up with a burr, a feathered burr on the, on the cutting edge. Once I get that feathered burr, then I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Then I'll leave that blade alone. Because again, I don't want to take too much metal off. If you'd sharpen your shears on a daily basis, I would say that you'd probably wear out a pair of shears within 12, 18 months uh, when it comes to the, the amount of case hardened material on the edge of the shear. Once we get through that, we get in, start getting into the soft metal and the soft metal is where the shears don't last as long. I'm trying to use all of the stone as well. Using just a bit of the stone just puts hollows in the stone, so we've got to try and keep that stone pretty well. The beauty with the, uh, the easy shear sharpener is that you can buy a stone quite easily from a, a, a hardware and put it into this jig, so you don't have to uh, go to a particular special place to get your stones and that sort of thing. So it's quite easy to replace the stones. It doesn't take too much for this, if you dropped it off the bench, to crack that stone. So. Just one of those there. You've just got to be a little bit careful with that. These shears have been used for about three months now, so they've started to lose their edge. What we want is these shears to cut from the back of the, uh, the blade all the way through to the tip. Starting to get a burr through there. Okay. That's got a nice burr running along that blade. Keeping the blades open. Trying to keep that blade level with the, the jig front. Again, this, just run the ink along that set. One run. Okay, it's slightly different there. You've got two adjustments. You can also adjust the, the rear as well, up and down. Demonstration purposes. Okay, we've got a burr along there pretty well all the way. Keeping the blades open. And then removing the burr by cutting down through the material all the way to the tip and then the blades are right and then they're ready to be used. When it comes to caring for the scissors of course we use the scissors to cut material uh, when we're on the industrial sewing machines and, uh, and that sort of thing we use thread snippers to cut thread not the scissors. Okay, because cutting a small piece of thread with a pair of scissors like this is a bit of a waste of uh, wasser and you've got more action happening blade to blade and so therefore the shears wear out a lot quicker.